For this lesson, we will talk about solutions in homogeneous mixtures. Solutions can be found everywhere. Pure air, nutrients in our body, and soil minerals absorbed by plants are examples of solutions around us. It is important to learn about solutions so we can utilize them better in daily lives. What is a solution? A solution is a homogeneous mixture of particles of two or more substances. A solution consists of two components, solute, which is the dissolved substance, and solvent, the dissolving medium. For example, sugar solution is a solution consists of sugar as the solute and water as the solvent. As discussed previously, pure substances can be elements or compounds. Elements as smallest particles are atoms. Covalent compounds as smallest particles are molecules, while those of ionic compounds are ions. To form a solution, the ions, atoms, and molecules of solute must be surrounded by solvent molecules. This is called solvation process. A solution can be in any state of matter, solid, liquid, or gas. A solid solution has its solid component dispersed throughout the atomic or molecular arrangement of the solid solvent. For example, steel is a solution of carbon in iron. A liquid solution is made by dissolving any solid, liquid, or gas in a liquid. When water acts as a solvent, the solution is called aqueous solution. For example, a soft drink is a solution of carbon dioxide in water. A gaseous solution is made by mixing one gas with another. For example, the air around us is a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other gases. Compounds inside a solution can be electrolyte or non-electrolyte. An electrolyte is a compound that acts as a conductor of electric current. Otherwise, it is non-electrolyte. You can do the test using this conductivity apparatus. Try to dip the metal strips into the solution. If the light bulb glows, it means the compound is a conductor of electric current or an electrolyte. Generally, aqueous solutions of ionic compounds such as sodium chloride and sodium hydroxide are electrolytes, whereas those of covalent compounds like sugar or alcohol are non-electrolytes. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next lesson.